Space Space Friends, this week I'm talking about how we're all going to become a nebula. It's amazing and gorgeous and beautiful. You may have heard from Carl Sagan before that we are all made up of star stuff, which is amazing. But if you want to knock your friends down a peg or two, you can tell them that they are only 93% star stuff by weight. The rest is hydrogen, which technically existed in our universe before the formation of stars. In fact, we now know that you are a mixture of diverse star stuff. While the majority of you did come from supernovas, the explosions of massive dying stars, other elements in your body actually could have come from the collisions of neutron stars. Some of the trace heavier elements in your body, like iodine, actually could have come from the bumping together of old corpses of dead stars, neutron stars. Our teensy sun won't become a supernova or a neutron star, but it'll become a red giant when it dies billions of years from now, engulfing Mercury and Venus before eventually leaving behind a skeleton of itself, a white dwarf, that'll be about the size of the Earth, but with half the mass of the sun as it exists today inside that container. But what's really cool is the fact that there's now new research saying that we're all then going to become a planetary nebula. So incredibly awesome. That doesn't mean that we'll be creating new planets in our nebula, although that would be really cool. Planetary nebula is a bit of a misnomer. What we will be doing is we'll be enriching our galaxy with heavier elements. We'll essentially be becoming the fertilizer for our galaxy. Planetary nebulas are essentially shells of gas that get ionized by ultraviolet radiation emanated out from the white dwarf. This creates these beautiful glowing structures that you can see throughout our universe, and we'll become one of those. Sadly, because we are a solar system with a fairly smaller sized star, our planetary nebula will only be around for about 10,000 years or so, but that's still a decent amount of time to see an extraordinary art installation in our universe, so it's not all sad. I guess I just adore the idea that we might become fertilizer for future stars and maybe future planets, and maybe those future planets would have future life and then that alien life would be made of future human stuff instead of just star stuff. <laughs> okay, maybe that's a bit preposterous, but a girl can dream. Creepy dreams. Anyway, I always love the idea of sampling stuff from our universe, mashing it up, and then having it go on to create future awesome things in our universe. It's one of the reasons why I love black holes so much. And I just love this idea of perhaps old life in our universe gives way to new life. It's a fun idea to think about. Thanks so much for watching this week, Space Friends. As always, because I am a small YouTube channel, remember to subscribe on YouTube, join my Patreon to help support future space weird videos like this one, and I'll see you next time.